Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sand Trap Gaming here, back with another video. And yes, it's Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys some amazing class that just puts every other class to shame. So, this class is going to be based around the VMP. The VMP is a really good SMG. It has decent stats right out of the box. As you can see, it has okay range, okay damage, high rate of fire, low accuracy. But don't worry about that, because we're going to fix that. Um, the attachments that go along with it are phenomenal, but you do need to level it up a bit. But it is definitely worth it. And with it being one of the first SMGs you get, you can do it. So the first one I'd recommend is Grip. This is just going to help you out with the recoil, because obviously the low accuracy, it's going to have some, you know, high recoil, and you want to be able to use it at at least somewhat mid-range, and even with this, it still does make it, you know, pretty nasty to control, just because it doesn't have that, you know, it's not just all straight up recoil, it's over and up and it, you're gonna need grip okay grip is an attachment that you are never going to regret next I'd recommend quick draw this is just so useful for SMGs I'd really recommend it hell for almost every gun that can get it I'd recommend it aiming down sights faster is just so useful and you know you really need it on almost every weapon Next we have Extended Mag, which is pretty self-explanatory, but this gun doesn't have a lot of ammo considering its rate of fire, and if you're going to be rushing, you normally don't want to be reloading after every kill, so this is just going to allow you to get a kill, turn to another guy, kill him, and then reload. It's very useful to get doubles, hell even triples. But lastly, we have Laser Sight. Now, this is kind of expendable. You could use it on something like Long Barrel or Full Metal Jacket or Suppressor or Stock or, fuck, even Rapid Fire, right? But I have Laser Sights on because this allows it to basically, you know, you don't have to aim down sights. Which is kind of funny, considering how I have two perks that, or two attachments that are built just for ADSing, but it still is amazing. This is really useful for just close quarters in rushing, right? Because when a guy jumps past you, you can't ADS and follow him. It's just, your sensitivity is probably not going to be high enough, and frankly, if it is... You're not going to be used to it. So, this is really useful when he's jumping around like it's advanced warfare. Now, I don't have secondaries or lethal or tactical, but I do have three perks. So, for perk one, I have Sixth Sense, which displays a minimap indicator with the enemy's direction of nearby enemies. Okay, so, it's really useful for... Uh, just, you know, if someone's about to flank you, all of a sudden it'll, like, have a little red bar on the bottom of your minimap, and you'll just whip around, drop shot, and he'll just be there looking at the screen in awe that you did that. It's an amazing perk, and I'd highly recommend you using it on almost every class. Next we have any Up, which allows you to get your score streaks faster. It's not an insane amount, but really, not many of these perks are good. Maybe Scavenger, but you do have Extended Mag, which does increase your ammo in the backpack. And maybe Tracker, but... Yeah. And then, for perk 3, we have Blast Suppressor. Now, I like to jump and thrust around a lot, um... One of my favorite things is the jump shot while hip firing. It catches so many kids off guard. And this allows me to do it and literally catch them 
completely off guard. Uh, with this class, I kind of feel like a ninja. Um, I used to have tracker on it, but I just took it off because I like to get score streaks more. And if you want, you could replace six cent with ghost. And that would be pretty useful, but not overly useful. So, now, hey, if you think you can figure out where they are just by, you know, your knowledge, don't use it. Use Ghost. It'll be a lot more useful because right now, there's a lot of people with UAV spam. Which, speaking of UAV spam, I guess I'll show you my score streaks that I run. I run UAV and counter UAV. The reason why is because I get a considerable amount of points when using these, and to pop these both about or near the same time is amazing. Um, it allows us to easily locate the enemy, and the enemy cannot easily locate us. It's a pretty sick combo, and it kind of is unfair, honestly, because you just need one kill once you get UAV, the UAV in. And then lastly, I run with wraps. Um, I love wraps. They're basically dogs in Black Ops 3. And when you get it, you, and it's game over. They have to be worried about the wraps just as much as enemies. It's great. Um, yeah, so if you definitely use this class setup, uh, you'll be doing actually really good. Um, I, I use it in... My KD's just been steadily going up, so that's great. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is going to be great for rushing and flanking, so, you know, don't rush down mid-alley, but if you know flank routes and get behind the enemy, you can just get triples for days. So, yeah, if you enjoyed and found this useful, please do drop a like and subscribe. If you want to see gameplay of it, um, subscribe because I'm going to be uploading a video probably later today showcasing the VMP at its finest and why it is so good. So yeah, this has been Sandtrap Gaming here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.